Alright, so we're back with another video, and it's like super random. I haven't done like a speaking to the camera video where it's just solely me speaking to the camera in like three, four years. Uh, actually, let me light a candle. For the vibes, you know, we need a little candle for the vibes. Alright. But yeah, I don't know, I kind of want to talk about how like it's crazy. Um, obviously, I've been doing this for like since 2017, so I'm pushing six years into this, which is insane. Um, because obviously it feels like I've been, personally to me, it feels like I've been doing this for maybe like two years max. Um, and it's crazy because after that second year, time really speeds up and everything starts going by way faster. Um, and you know, time just time just starts flying by. And it's crazy because I remember, um, I was, when I started, I was 18. So my goal at the beginning was like, I need to be a millionaire by 20. Like 20 is like the mark where I have to hit it. Um, and obviously like as time starts going, you start experimenting. I personally started doing a lot of things like drop shipping. I started, that's how, what, what, that was like my first thing. Um, drop shipping was like the first thing that I did. And obviously like it helped me drop out of college and like start the life that I'm currently living but it was never what I wanted to do long-term. The span of like from those first two, through two, three years where I did drop shipping to then building like an actual brand that I built during 2020 quarantine uh, to running that for over a year to then um, meeting again with my business partner and coming together to build like a creative studio, which looking back, it's like personally, like, I don't know, it was more like a transitional thing because I wouldn't want to own a creative studio that's not where my heart and passion like that um, but it was more it was more so like a thing that's like a transitional thing um and at the time we felt like it was what we had to do and then from there the clothing brand idea was born and we just started working on that and now we're so we're in a whole new city and it's something that we're really passionate about um but yeah i kind of i kind of just wanted to talk about how like doing this entrepreneurship thing where you're doing your own thing it comes with very high highs and very low lows and you kind of just swing back through them. Like you'll be like feeling like you're at the top and then something will happen. Um, things that are out of your control and like just part of the game. And yeah, they may knock you out your game, but like the whole premise of this video is like why I feel like I'm unstoppable. Um, and why I've always felt that way as a kid. Like I feel like no matter what happens, obviously I'm not talking like health related things or like things that are out of your control, but so more so in your control. like. I personally feel like there's nothing that could come my way, um, no matter how bad it may be, like business-wise and things like that, that can just like stop me permanently. Um, there's obviously things that have happened in the past four or five years that have like knocked me off my game for like two, three days, four days. Like AMC, for example, I remember when AMC happened, um, when the stock was like four or five bucks. I put thirty thousand dollars in it. It ran all the way to like twenty bucks, um, and that investment turned into one hundred and twenty thousand overnight, literally. Um, and then the whole drama thing happened, and I didn't sell. So, and I didn't sell, and I ended up selling at sixty k. It's all sixty thousand dollars that I missed out on, and then I was in such a high and like trying to chase back those sixty k that I didn't get that I ended up putting 30K into another stock and basically ended up fumbling um, like 20 out of those 30K and ended up with like 40K. I started with 30 and 40, so made 10K, which is like, obviously it's like a good amount, but when you were up 90K two days before, like it really takes a toll on you. So I was down bad for like two days, like in my room, super angry. I'm like, you know what? Like just thinking like, I'm so dumb. Like why would I like not cash out when I was up 90K? Um, but yeah, you know, just things that are out of your control and at the time, you know, it took me like a day or two to just be like, you know what, like, okay, it happened, get over it, um, and just keep building, keep building your brand, keep building what you're doing and you kind of just got to like snap out and like know that at the end of the day, like the way I see it is that when you're up a hundred mil, when you're worth 500 mil, when you sell your company for 50 mil, are 50 K, a hundred K really going to make a difference to you? Like, is it really going to matter at that point? Like it's not. So it's like, why stress about losing that amount right now, whether it's in crypto, um, a bad investment, Facebook ads, like why trip about obviously like an amount that 
sucks right now. But you also gotta have that abundance mentality and realize that like eventually when you're up, that's not gonna matter. You're not gonna feel it. So yeah, that's kind of like financially, you just have to feel like you're destined for whatever it is that you want. Personally, I've always felt like whatever I want, I'm gonna end up achieving one way or another. Just the concept, the, the feeling that like, I know that I'm destined for like great things and I'm gonna achieve everything that I want. And so far it's kind of panned out. Like a lot of things that as a kid I wanted to achieve have happened. And the craziest thing is that when they do happen, since it's kind of like a steady incline, as opposed to like an overnight success, when it does happen, you don't really feel it. So you don't really pay attention to it or realize that you achieve what you wanted to achieve, um, which is kind of rough because you never celebrate your accomplishments. I remember back in like 2015, I wanted a clothing brand super bad. If you scroll down my Instagram, you'll see that I did launch like a little small little clothing brand, nothing custom, but you know, I sold out like, seven hoodies that I made and it was like $200 and to me that was great um, and I remember telling a friend back then one day I want to own a clothing brand and I want it to be big and I want to sell out a couple hundred units and then when it did happen with this brand it was more so like it's kind of what you expect for it to it's kind of what you expect to happen and it's not really an accomplishment it's kind of like just like another day like that's what's supposed to happen and you just did it and now you keep going as opposed to like celebrating and obviously it gets to a point where you, you don't really celebrate everything that happens just because like you can't celebrate every single thing because you'll be celebrating every day but obviously like looking back on it it could really make you feel like you're not achieving anything when your goals from the past and things are obviously being scratched off the list so moral of the story here and what I'm trying to say is that um, obviously like through the past five six years I've gone through a lot of experience in good things that have happened business-wise and bad things that have happened and sacrifices like having to move across the country um, to get this brand going and obviously be away from family friends people you care about uh, just spend weekends home um, which obviously for the most part you're working but it's like a big change coming from like last year where we had that beautiful apartment and it was just like peaking in terms of lifestyle not so much business-wise and this year it's like the opposite like lifestyle is more like like the lifestyle is so great just through the brand because you do things with the brand that are fun um but it comes with a lot of sacrifices at the end of the day you know like as long as you believe in your vision your goals and what you're doing i really do feel like you just become unstoppable like there's really just nothing that could come your way that could stop you um and those few things that really get you off a little sidetracked that are like just things that like really do bother you like what i said may take you off your game for a day or two which is fine like you have to like kind of step back process what happened think about how you're not going to make the same mistake again and then like you know get back right into war you gotta get back in the field because at the end of the day you can either like sit down and dwell about it and talk about how dumb you are and just drown in your own tears or you could be like you know what okay i fucked up and i'm never making this mistake again i learned from this and then you know just get back right into working like you have to like make it out because nobody's gonna make it for you one thing you have to realize is that at the end of the day nobody's gonna save you and you're basically the only person that's going to achieve your dreams and you're 100 percent responsible for achieving your dreams so no matter what happens even if like something happens because of someone and it affects whatever it is that you're working towards it's still your fault and you have to realize that you're only going to achieve your dreams if you take 100 percent responsibility and realize that as long as you really do believe in your vision and you're showing up every single day and you're consistent you're unstoppable so I personally feel that way. I've always felt that way since I was a kid. I've always known since I was like six, seven that I was gonna be extremely successful and that I was gonna have every single thing I wanted. I remember telling like grandparents and stuff like that that I was just gonna buy them a crib and things that at the time in Colombia being six, seven were so ridiculous, were so like far-fetched, just didn't make sense. And I genuinely believed in it. And to this day, even though I haven't achieved things that I do wanna achieve and obviously every year, the more I achieve, the higher that bar gets. I generally do believe fully that I'm going to achieve everything I want. Um, and that makes me unstoppable. So that's, yeah, that's what I had to say today. I feel like I haven't picked up the camera in some good time, like three, four years where I haven't talked to it like this, just like talking, nothing else. That's pretty much it. That's the story of today. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Um, I will be posting more consistently, whether it's videos like these or more so lifestyle. They're not really going to be like this too often unless you guys really do like them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll see you guys soon.